Hey there, plus welcome to Sysop Space. And today we are diving into something super exciting AI agents in Visual Studio Code. And for this, you can download the Visual Studio Code Insiders or you can download the Visual uh, GitHub Copilot uh, in your existing Visual Studio Code. So, this is not uh, just basic code suggestions, there are autonomous coding assistants that can actually think, plan, and code with you. So, uh, let's break down how they work and why they are a big deal. So, like AI agents in Visual Studio Code are part of the Microsoft Next Generation Development Tooling. And uh, they can read your entire workspace, understand your intent and help you with the task like refactoring the code, generating unit test cases, debugging issues, answering questions about your code base. It's not something like a chat GPT, but fully integrated into your uh, dev environment with memory and your project context. Uh, so now we can understand this, the uses of this uh, live Visual Studio Code AI agents with some uh, real example. So here I already created one sample web API project that created in .NET 8. This is a sample default uh, template that created while we using the web API. So uh, this I already created and here I already downloaded the Visual Studio Code Insiders. So first of all, uh, we open that project. So uh, I'm, I'm opening, I'm copying this, mm, the path of this project. So this is here. I click on open folder and then go. And we can choose this select folder. So this will open the project into the uh, Visual Studio Code. Press this and uh, now, and now project is open uh, VS Code inside us. So, here uh, we can go like here with the open chat. And then, uh, for the you for using this uh, copilot, you can uh, log in the copilot with your GitHub account. So, this one your uh, GitHub credential to activate the uh, copilot into the Visual Studio Code. So I think you can uh, create your if you have account, you can simply log in or you can register with the uh, GitHub. So I already log in with my credential into this uh, GitHub Copilot. So uh, there are different types of modes like us. So this is something like only uh, chatting. So it means this giving the answer into the text and this for the edit mode and this one that i'm talking about the ai agents this can work like your co-developer like your helping hand so this can edit according to their suggestions uh, there's no need to copy and paste the code into your project so this is like a sample project uh it's not i think major functionality is to that so this is the simple uh weather api so like uh, if we uh, need to ask the uh, ai agent to add the uh, jwt token uh, like login and register functionality into this api so we can simply ask to our ai agents to do that so we just go to the visual studio code insider and here we can write uh, here is the two different functionalities like you can also uh, giving the command by the voice uh, or you can simply write it and here there are, there are different models like uh, cloud gemini gpt and different types of uh, ai models available here so i simply here i am using that uh, gpto you can use and try with different ai models so like i am uh, giving the command like uh, add uh, jwt JWT auth to my project to my project uh, with login and uh, register in points register in the points so now yeah man change the mode from ask to agent mode and then uh, click on send so now this uh, analyzing and uh, uh, your uh, projects and uh, edit 
with these different suggestions. So firstly, this one to add these two uh, new kit packages. So we just click, we firstly um, close this application from debugging mode to edit into this application. Uh, I'm using here Visual Studio Code, uh, Visual Studio uh, for the project and running, you can use uh, Visual Studio Code also. So for my convenience, I'm using this uh, Visual Studio. So I'm just click on continue. So this will add the uh, new get packages with the project. So this will run the it's not installed sometimes some uh naked uh packages or some, some something like uh security errors so maybe you can install these two packages with the manually so is this uh, required the required get package or not installed let me attempt to install the packages again to res uh, resolve this issues. this will edit uh, these things in your uh, uh program.cs so firstly, this will be showing the preview, like you want to keep that things or undo that things like I'm using that thing. So I'm used for keep. So you can check it here. This will, the, these changes will added into this uh, uh, program, program CS. This is currently showing the error into the JWT error because that uh, new get package is not installed. So we again try this. Sometimes with the nucleated package, this swing there is not installed. So you can like uh, you can install by the manually. So I'm just like uh, add that packages here. We go to manage packages and install the JWT PRL manually. Click on install. Apply, accept. Now this takes some time to install it. Uh, nine was is not working with the .NET eight, so today I'm just choosing this eight version and click on install. Accept. So this will uh, edit the. So now package is added with the project. So yeah, I can uh, build this project. So this need to showing the build succeeded. So now I'm going just the Visual Studio Code Insider. It's showing the common not executed. So like I'm writing this, uh, I am I added a uh, uh, JWT PRL JWT PRL a uh, package manually. You can proceed further. Manually, you can proceed further. So, yeah, just send it. So, this can proceed further without adding uh, that. So, now this added the auth module.cs. So, and also adding the register models and the login models so this will edit the different uh, controllers here so this three files is added is auth controller.cs auth model.cs and then some changes this the previous changes that doing in the program uh, cs file so we'll keep these files so i'm just checking che checking the controllers here so this added the different uh, endpoints like one for the register and another for the logins and added the authentication model here. This added for two uh, classes, one for register models and for the login models. And this also uh, need to, uh, this also like if you, uh, you want to add your key and issue issuers in uh, program files, you can ask the copilot. So, this will add the things for you. So now, so like uh, the also giving suggestions if you want to test your endpoints, you can use a Pushman or Swagger, anything that you want. So this created the uh, two endpoints here. So this here, this uh, created some uh, sample secret here. 
example and you can also uh, provide a more uh, commands to update the existing code according to your need like with this secret so i'm adding any secret here like i will just edit that and we run this uh, application and uh, we also replace this uh, key with the other uh, controller key and this uh, this can be uh, this is the sample key this can uh, be changed according to your uh, real project and here uh, this adding some uh, sample values like here is also adding the comment in real application where you get user credence from the database for now uh, this adding the things from this hard coded test user and cost so we run this application and we provide uh, uh, these two values for like username and password so like we firstly register the things paste and the password and then click on execute uh, the user registered successfully and the same things we use for the login and then click on execute so this will create the token so you can uh, remodify your the codes by giving the more context here and for the like uh, any uh, any uh, classes you want to address so like uh, add a code into in like you we using this hash for uh, pointing the any classes any files to the uh, copilot agents like i'm using like auth controller or like uh, weather that you default created so you can address that things by using the hash so that's it so like we uh, vs code ai agents is the future of software development absolutely we are entering the world where ai does not just suggest lines it's helped build to entire uh, project if you have not tried uh, it yet install the extension install the vs code code uh, insiders and let me know uh, about your th uh, thoughts into the comments and uh, if you like my videos don't forget to click on uh, the notification bell for the latest updates and also click on uh, subscribe button for more ai tools and productivity hacks um, for the dotnet and so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session